Hello <laughs> and welcome today for a beautiful and special cacao ritual where we will celebrate ceremonial cacao. After five weeks of learning about cacao, being educated about cacao, so me and my cacao colleague from South Africa, Fran from Cape Cacao, were sharing our wisdom, our knowledge, our research and what we have learned along our years of dedication and devotion to and with ceremonial red cacao. And today we would like to give <laughs> you the opportunity to tune in with cacao with our guidance, but more so with the guidance of cacao to come within yourself and in connection with her to find out what ceremonial great cacao for you means and to you means and how it can uh, well how it can invite you into service with her <laughs> for her hello friend i'm just gonna bring her in So today, in ceremony together, or at least in ritual, so, so beautiful to have you. Thank you so much, Lava. And hello, everybody joining in live, everyone getting the recording. It's so wonderful, as you said, just to be completing these five weeks of information with a ritual. It just seems so right. So thank you. <laughs> Well, then um, let's dive right in. Um, we are prepared. I see you. You have your drums behind you. I've got a Guatemalan drum with me as well. And um, for those that yeah are here live, welcome, welcome. If you if you're coming in for the replay, then make sure you have a cup of cacao prepared so that you can then fully start and receive. And for everyone that's already here and has a cup of cacao. Um, or if you don't, there's still a moment of time, but but maybe you just want to sit here with with your cacao pack or paste or beans. You don't even have a cup and just tune in with us now. And then after this beautiful, deep ritual, you can then prepare your cup instead of rushing now. You might as well just prolong your own ritual. But we will drink together. And Fran is firstly opening the space. Thank you so much. I just have to point out a technical glitch on my side. My phone has been doing this from time to time where I don't actually see the other video. So at the moment, all I see is half of the screen black, half of the screen my video. Um, but just, so Laura, this is more just for you. Um, perhaps just say verbal cues rather than gesturing because I actually can't see you. Okay. <laughs> we're three, we're three more today, coming up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Good to know. Thank you, friend. I will... Um... If there's anything for me to say, say or like point you out, I will share it in the moments. All right. So thank you. I'm going to be lighting a candle on my side. Actually, I'm going to be lighting three candles. So if you are prepared for ritual with a candle, you're welcome to join me now. And um, I'll be calling in the directions as well. But just to speak to the candles I'm lighting, one is yellow, one is red. It's in a bit of a coconut cup though. And the other one is white. And I'm not going to speak too much about the different colors for now, but it's just uh, a practice if you like to bring it into your ritual space to work with the frequency of color. Many traditions have different associations for color. All right. And then if you do have a cup of cacao, you're welcome to hold it in your hands. Otherwise, just place a hand on the heart or both hands on the heart. I'm going to be acknowledging the directions and then just opening with an invocation to the ancestors and here in southern africa um i live in south africa by the way i am south african myself and um here in southern africa the indigenous people talk about the ancestors as not just being of human flesh and blood it's obviously the seven generations that have gone previously the seven generations still to come as many native american traditions talk about but it's also the other spirit beings and um, other animals, plants, um, any other any other animate beings that we share this planet with, going right the way back 
to the first people, to the first beings, and right the way back to the elements. So as I call in the directions, I'm going to also acknowledge the elements and then go into the indication. So if you are familiar with where the east direction is, then please either face that direction or just place a hand in that direction. I've lit a stick of incense here. You can be working with other smokes if you like. I'm just going to start to wave some of the incense in towards that direction, just to acknowledge the start of our ritual. This is obviously the direction of the rising sun, it's the direction of the rising moon, and it's the new day, the new potential, the opening. And after doing a few offerings of the smoke, just a pause, maybe close the eyes if they're still open, take a deep breath in as you anchor yourself from the east into this moment, into this time and space. And when you exhale, just think of grounding all the way down through the body, down to where you sit and stand, down into the location into which you reside. This is very important that we do this in the virtual spaces as well, so we can connect into the virtual container. And so we acknowledge the East, much gratitude for the wisdom there, the element of air, the rising sun, the potential, and the newness. We're going to turn a quarter either to the left if you're in the Southern Hemisphere or to your right if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. So you want to be acknowledging the turning of the sun. So we move anti-clockwise in my Southern Hemisphere and where Laura is, we'll be turning clockwise in that Northern Hemisphere. And the same thing, I'm just going to be waving some of my incense into that direction. And you can be doing this just by acknowledging where the sun is at its zenith, the peak of the day. It's kind of angular, not so much directly above of us that are pointing into one of the directions and this will either be your north or your south depending on where you are. And so as I give the offerings to the south here, the north and the southern hemisphere, I acknowledge the fire element, I acknowledge Father Son, I acknowledge the divine masculine and just the potential moving into action. So from the east into the fire element, taking action and just being in the space of the warrior where we can Bend our realm, where we can walk and step in from the places of compassion and love and take action from those spaces. So again, just take a deep breath in from that direction. And as you exhale, drop it down through your body to where you are geographically located, but also into the virtual space together. Continue to turn. So now we'll all be facing the opposite of where we began to the west. And just for the sake of being on the camera, I'm going to sort of turn my palm to face behind me rather than my body. Same thing though, I offer some of the direction smoke into the west. And this is obviously the direction of the setting sun, the direction of the setting moon into the dream space, the nighttime space, the subconscious, and the other states of consciousness that make up our mind. And we allow here the flow. So we acknowledge the element of water, the flow in, in to cycles, from the beginning to the closing. We can acknowledge here the close of cycles and just anything in the space of the ancestral and the spirit space. I'm taking a deep breath in. And as we exhale, just ground ourselves from the west into this geographical location where we are, but also virtually. And we're going to close off that horizontal circle. So just turning to the final direction. Of course, I'm not going to repeat what I've just said about northern and southern hemispheres, but you're just going to go to the direction that you haven't yet acknowledged. And so obviously, this is either the north or the south, depending on where you are. Same thing, I'm just facing this with my palm. You can face it with your body. I'm offering some of the incense there. And just acknowledging the grounding element of earth. So we close off this virtual container we set our circle and we officially open up our sacred space by grounding into the earth. And so we give thanks to the divine feminine here, to the divine mother, to the earth element of our body, of our planet, and just the sovereignty within, the ruler of our realm, but also the divine mystic. We take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, just ground ourselves into our geographical location and into our virtual space together. I'm just getting comfortable again. Two more directions. I invite you just to lift your head upwards, maybe even your palm. If you're holding a cup of cacao, you can lift it above your heart, maybe even your head, and just acknowledge in the direction of above. The fire, the masculine, the protection in the container above us. And also just 
is to receive any wisdom, blessings, and clarity from this direction. And then again, breathe in. And then as we exhale through the body, down again, anchoring and grounding. This time, allow the hands, if you're holding cacao, to drop below the heart, lower the gaze, bow the head, and just acknowledge the direction of below. Very different body shape or gesture here than the openness acknowledging above. Here we are humble. Here we come in respect and reverence. And if we were outside, I would ask us all to kneel onto the earth and place our hands onto the grass. And so we acknowledge Pachamama. We acknowledge the divine feminine. And we acknowledge that wisdom that we have within us. We give thanks for Kakao coming from these spaces. And we give thanks to the wisdom that she helps us to remember inside us. And so we just take a gentle breath to acknowledge this. And then finally, I'm just going to place my incense down. I'm going to bring everything to center to the heart space. And we can think of this being the seventh direction, the direction that anchors us into the virtual container together, but also anchors us into this time and space. Bowing the head down, if you're holding your cacao, just hold it close towards the heart. And this, this is also the space from which we can step forwards, no matter in what direction we need to go. It's the space from which all the directions come from and come back to. And it's in this space that I invite us to connect into the heart, to the heart and the spirit in all things. And today, the ancestral invocation I'm going to be singing, well, I'm going to be speaking of actually, is done in the way of the ancestors here on this land. Please remember that ancestors refers to everything. Everything is the soul in this world. And so we begin. Grandmothers and grandfathers, we are calling upon you here as we gather. Be among us. Grandmothers and grandfathers, from the four quarters, from the lineages of old, we are asking, gather among us. Bring your great shade so we may rest beneath. Show us the way, grandmothers. Open the road, grandfathers. Give us light so we may follow. Walk behind us so we may walk straight, to the left and to the right, so we may see clearly. We are asking, we are calling, we are gathering. We ask that you be among us. Grandmothers and grandfathers, we gather to speak of things of old, to speak of things of now, to gather from our past, to prepare for our future. Grandmothers and grandfathers, we ask for your help, we ask for your guidance, we ask for your strength, we ask for the wood for the wisdom of age. All that time, grandmothers, all that time, grandfathers, going back to the very beginning, going back to the softness of those old days, to the perfection from whence we come, that we may find our return, that we may find our path. Grandmothers and grandfathers, in beauty and in strength, in balance, ancestors, be among us, be with us. We can stay in this position of looking down onto your cup of cacao in front of your heart and gently, slowly open your eyes to look within your cup, to observe what you're seeing, a thick creamy liquid a brown, foamy or smooth elixir. Hold your cup a bit closer and breathe it in. Take in the aroma of cacao. And with your hands holding your cup, feel the warmth, the sensation of the vessel, thereby connecting with all of your senses to the elements of earth, of water, of fire and of air, all together in the alchemy 
that we get to create together with spirit. And today we will remember that we are made of all these elements, that we always can practice alchemy within our hearts and with cacao as our our guide, as our ally, as our teacher, and as our friend. It's our big reminder. We look within today to ask for our path of purpose with this sacred plant. So when you're ready, prepare yourself to take your first sip by inviting cacao into yourself, not only physically, but also emotionally. Prepare yourself to be open, prepare yourself to release if necessary, or prepare yourself to, to feel, to sense, to allow emotions to pass, and prepare yourself mentally with the intention to be present yes this is all that will be required of you today you can receive there's nothing for you to do apart from practicing presence with this being said you can whisper or sing or think to your cacao some form of invitation some form some way that feels good and true to you that allows ceremonial great cacao to come into contact with you. And, and as my dear beloved teacher would have said, we don't have to take this meditation business oh so seriously. And as you would with a dear friend and a guest that knocks on your door that you want to invite in, you would most likely greet them with a smile. And so now I'll find that inner smile within you and greet cacao with, from this place, from this gratitude and this excitement of inviting in a beloved friend and take your first. with the sensation of all, all her flavors connect to your taste a sense of taste the texture of the cacao the bitterness or the sweetness the earthiness or the fruitiness drink in your own time And with every sip, allow yourself to soften a little bit more. Allow your heart to receive. And now allow yourself to listen. If there's any resistance, any tension. Simply take a sip for this part in you that might block or that might resist without the need for it to change. Simply guide your cow there and tell yourself you too are seen, you too are loved. And with the next sip I want you to think about all the times that cacao soothed your mind, 
supported you in some way. Put her invisible but tangible hands on your shoulder. With the next sip, think about the moments where you drank a cow and immediately relaxed, felt held from within. When you were embraced, and when you felt yourself allowing any heart ache or pain to be felt, to be transformed, and to move with you and through you. With the next sip, think about all those times that cacao brought you clarity. And illuminated your mind, inspired you creatively, or allowed you to simply be. And with another sip, think about all these times when you had cacao you drank a cow and you felt, felt passionate, excited and you felt sensual, alive. Think about or maybe now even begin to feel Similar to moments where anger, frustration, fear, or some kind of discomfort bubbled up, and you were able to be with it, to express it in some way, and to hold yourself whilst cacao was holding your heart and your hands. And wrapped herself around you, touched your soul, spoke to your heart. And allowed you to become clear on your next path, the next growth road, next step ahead. And now come closer into yourself and observe how you have then, after drinking cacao, showed up in your life. How you started communicating or acting differently. How you encountered the people around you in a, another way. How you maybe felt more generous, at ease, relaxed. How your body felt. Maybe more motivated, active ready to take on the world. And then remember how you went about your days and your weeks, your months and your years. Whilst connecting with or drinking the cow. And if you have any more cacao left in your cup, you might want to take the last few sips or rest it aside for later. 
find a comfortable seat. And look within. You can do this by simply closing your eyes and becoming aware of the universe behind your eyelids. This dark, limitless space full of starry, flickering lights, colors or shapes. Prepare yourself to dive deep into your own universe and, and drop a little deeper into your seat. Feel the Earth's gravitation holding you, pulling you gently down, down, down. You might want to imagine an umbilical cord or golden string from your navel that ties yourself, connects yourself to the earth's core. Or my favorite way is to start growing your own roots, however shape, color, form, feeling, sensation they may have. Let them grow down alongside stones and waterways, plants, insects, and deeper, deeper, deeper within the earth until they find new plants, new life, a new ground on the other side of the planet and suddenly recognize one specific root, the root of a cacao tree. And here you make contact. You let your roots intertwine with the roots of the cacao tree. And, and here it is where you start to come into conversation with cacao. Now, this could look like a dialogue in words or in images. It could be visual, it could be sensational. It could be tingles down your spine. You could hear or see or sense colors, textures, voices, sounds. And even if it is nothing, then trust that you you're doing it exactly right because there is no right or wrong and there's only you way. Stay present, have patience with yourself and don't try to force any answer but also trust that the answers you do get are exactly the ones you need to hear. So now is the time to ask Cacao herself known to you, either physically in your body or, or maybe through a shape that this beautiful spirit of a cow will take on so that you can come into connection and presence with the cow. And as I start to drum, you get to ask any questions, particularly this one of cacao, that is, cacao, please, please tell me, after all that you've done for me, how, I, how can I be in service to you?
exchange last words or gestures. Allow insights to integrate within you in some way or shape or form. Know, know that you can always come back into conversation with Kakao. But for now, trust that you got an answer that helps you to find a way to serve cacao and travel back your roots through your earth feel you're drawing the answers the conversation the dialogue or the connection with cacao back into yourself like a precious gem a treasure that you gained that you received and bring it into your body in the place where it needs to be stored or to be felt. Maybe it is a seed like the cacao seed that you can plant into your womb and feel as a seed of inspiration, a path forward, a task for you that you get to just stay to over the next months, that you get to grow and birth. Or maybe it's known you've always known all along and needed to be reminded of and that is a treasure maybe a piece of jade like the beautiful gemstones that grow in the soil of Guatemala alongside cacao and bring that into your heart the green radiance of your heart where it really connects with your own heart energy Oh, or maybe it is a golden, soothing thought that wants to be poured over like honey and milk over your mind and your busy, anxious thinking and to soothe your monkey mind, soothe your doubts and worries. Maybe it's something that you need to speak upon and it's like a fresh leaf or the scent of peppermint that comes close to your nose has been put in your throat for you to speak clearly. Maybe it's something that you put in your hands or you know that you need to act upon, share something, share your gifts or your creations. Maybe it's something that is put onto your feet as a reminder to trust your own path and simply keep walking, even if you don't know where to. And as this is done, come back into your center, into your heart, and now ask yourself, the per person that you are now, what does ceremonial grade cacao means to you? Which part of all, all the information shared before on the intention, on reciprocity, on sourcing, on farming, on harvesting or processing is coming to mind now for you. Maybe also the fact of personal practice and devotion. What part is now being eliminated within you that to you, you specifically is important when engaging with, working with, ceremonial grape cacao, or even sharing this precious plant medicine. And 
then with this information of you from yourself please feel free to open your eyes and take note of it either through or like or you might just want to keep your eyes closed for another moment just really let this sink in reflect on it or grab a pen and paper take a note write it down type it into your phone and exhale into this new found insight you take a minute for you to write anything or sit in this knowing and also feel free to type it into the chat if there's something that you wish to share some insight on your part that you're playing in service to ceremonial great cacao or something that the cow brought forth to you we would love to read i won't read it out loud so you can simply type it in so it's witnessed you can also comment later on this replay of this live or send us a message. And then I ask Fran to bring us back into presence with the with our whole group and the greater spirit and greater presence of all and close our mm -hmm. space and time together. Thank you. Yes. So as you asked that question, what came through for me was relationship. And I think that's been a theme that's come up throughout our, our discussions over the last five weeks. Even though we were breaking it down into different information pockets, there was always the theme of relationship to some, to other, to people that are involved in the whole process of growing and harvesting and processing the cacao thing relationship to the land and so I'd like us to close with the word relationship in mind and asking for the guidance from our hearts to walk the right road so this is the road in relationship right relationship to our own heart right relationship to each other right relationship to other nature and so i'm going to before closing the space, just offer two invocations. <clears throat> this one, these will be sung. The one is just to acknowledge the elements that make make up everything. Lava so beautifully just guided us into there with what was in the cacao as well, what's in our bodies, what's out in the world around us, the earth, the fire, the water, the air. And of course, the fifth element is the spirit, the spirit of all things. I like to think of that being the heart and being the center point that we move forwards from. And so I'm going to call it the spirit of drum from the place of my, of my heart and just offer a short invocation in English to the elements. And then I'm going to move on to an invocation to Kakao herself, just to continue to have that heart space activated as we move through our life in the right relationship and center. Acknowledging the spirit of Glenn. Hinjana Orukumba Mura Orukumba Mura Hinjana
Acknowledging in the next breath your center, 
as we start to open up our container to close off our ritual space today, we allow ourselves to remain rooted into the heart, but to now take action towards from the space. And then just taking that same hand that's on the heart and just placing it towards the earth, maybe even touching the floor, acknowledging the direction of below, the Divine Mother, our Chamamu, our home, our earth. And just giving thanks for the land, giving thanks for the people, giving thanks to all the ancestors, the wisdom keepers, everything in this earthly realm that assists us, nourishes us, supports us. And then just taking that hand and lifting the palm up, you can either just have it lifted above you or actually just press it up towards the sky. Lift the gaze, maybe close the eyes again. And just acknowledging the direction of above. Great Father, the openness, the ability to be free and to move, the protection from above, the clarity, the guidance. Thank you, Thank you for balancing our the earth. Thank you for holding us on this direction. And you're going to orientate yourself into the horizontal plane again. And you're going to go in the opposite direction now, ending in the east. So whatever your last direction was, before we did the ones of above and below and began, just orientate yourself either with your body or just with your palm. This will either be the north or the south, depending on what hemisphere you are in. So we're just reversing to open up our circle now in the horizontal space. And so we give thanks. We give thanks to the element of earth. And we give thanks to the sovereign. We give thanks to the ruler of our own. May the choices that we make for ourselves, for others, and for the environment be in right relationship to our heart and for the benefit of all. Taking a deep breath in and out, and just releasing yourself from this direction. And we're going to continue to turn the quarter, opening up. So we'll be facing the west, either with the palm or the body. And just acknowledging the night time that we went into, into our ritual space. We're going to slowly wake ourselves up from this place now, acknowledging the divine wisdom from within, the wisdom from the inside that we were guided into by Lava, the wisdom of our heart, the wisdom from Kakao herself. We give thanks. Taking a breath in from this direction. And as you exhale, just releasing and opening up the door, feeling the space now half open. And then let's turn to the opposite of where we were, another quarter, either again to the north or the south, acknowledging the element of the fire. And just acknowledging that inner warrior that is always in duty to the realm, listening to our sovereign, guided by the subconscious, the warrior that has the sword of compassion and the shield of love that stands firm in inner power, guided from the heart. Let's take that breath in, activating the fire within, and as we exhale, just release ourselves from this direction. And finally, the place that we began in, now we end, facing the east. And as we acknowledge the element of air here, the lightest of our elements, we allow ourselves to take our steps lightly into this earth. May we leave no trace, just love and light in our wake. And so we take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, release yourself from the east, bring the hand back to the heart, and just remember that your circle is always within, that the wisdom lies here. Taking another breath, and just bowing your head as you thank yourself for showing up today, and for being open to the process of being guided, not only by myself and Lama, but also by the container, by the virtual space set together in community, and by spirit of cacao, may you walk in beauty. Oh.
we are not human beings trying to become spiritual we are spiritual beings trying to become human and so i want to close this life with a quote by william blake which is for me very much in line with cacao and what cacao asks us to do and he goes like this yes the true method of knowledge is experiment the true faculty of knowing must be the faculty which experiences. Thank you all. Thank you, friend. Thank you, Alvin. Thank you, everybody. Much love.